assalamu alaikum dear students uh, today we are starting present continuous as we have completed uh, indefinite tense and you all have uh, performed very well uh, very good i am uh, really much satisfied uh, satisfied from your side so today we are starting present continuous uh, what we will uh, learn in this lecture first of all we will go for the user that why we use present continuous then what is the syntax and then uh, examples to better understanding and then uh, one thing uh, we will learn something different here that is going to versus present continuous means uh, going to uh, is also uh, is ing form we all know that in continuous we use ing form so here going to versus present continuous we will discuss and then exercise for you all uh, here is the usage present continuous is used to describe an action that is happening now we all uh, can understand here that uh, continuous means something is going in flow something is happening right now we are talking about the present for example i am stitching my dress so i am talking about right now that if someone is asking me that uh, what are you doing now so i can say i am stitching my dress but what is here another usage yes present continuous is also used to describe an action that is happening in future yes now you are you all are thinking that uh, uh, why we use present continuous for the future i mean uh, we can also use the future continuous so in future we will discuss the future continuous right now uh, see this uh, present continuous is also used for the action that is happening in future for example i am stitching my dress this weekend means i have planned something and uh, i am saying that uh, in this weekend i am going to do this thing means that is completely planned so here i know that uh, it, this is new for you all that uh, how can we use present continuous uh, in the future but we can use when i am using in the end of the sentence this weekend so i can say that i am stitching my dress this weekend so it means that i am talking about this weekend uh, right now i am not doing then is a syntax here is a affirmative and negative structure in affirmative we use subject as mr and verb and plus ing and plus object so here i uh, want to want you all that to remember this is mr we are using whenever we use uh, ing form uh, verb ing form we use is mr with he she it we use is and uh, all plural subjects we use r and with only i we use m then negative structure uh, only not will be added then interrogative and double interrogative in the in interrogative we start sentence with is m r then subject then verb ing form plus object and question mark is mandatory and then double interrogative double interrogative is wh family plus is m r plus verb ing form plus object and then question mark here are the examples of affirmative and negative first of all we are reading affirmative examples asif is making his cupboard the cat is drinking milk you can see the structure here the cat is a subject is m r we have written here is drinking verb plus ing form drink is a verb ing and then milk is a object then negative ahmed is not receiving my call we are not going in party tonight it's a very simple uh, structures and uh, you can uh, you can grip this uh, by practicing interrogative are they coming for this trip is aksar writing an article so here you can see that we have started the sentences with is am are double interrogative what are you thinking where are you doing where are you going question mark is mandatory now here what here is what you are waiting for going to and present continuous see here 
uh, we use going to uh, when the plan when we have planned something uh, like uh, uh, plan that are confirmed we make plans but uh, uh, some plans are confirmed and some are not so uh, we use going to when the plan or actions are not confirmed and present continuous we use when the plan and actions are confirmed uh, uh, it will be better understand when we discuss the examples going to examples i am going to meet my friends this weekend mean i am going to meet means i am thinking i am making plan but uh, i am not sure about the place i am not sure about the time so i am just making plan so it is not a confirm so that's why i am using the structure going to i am going to meet my friends this weekend one thing i want to increase your knowledge here that uh, whenever you use to after that you will always use verb first form it's a basic rule it's a english rule then after to 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 after to you will always use verb first form second it is going to be run tonight means i am talking about tonight that uh, I, it's my opinion basically that uh, it is going to be run tonight because i am uh, not seeing the uh, uh, the weather and it seems like that uh, it is going to be run tonight but it's not a confirmed you are going to attend this meeting i am saying someone i am saying to someone that you are going to attend this meeting but i'm not sure that uh, he will attend or not if, for example if i'm saying to my friend that uh, listen you ha are going to attend this meeting so i'm not sure that he will attend or she will attend or not so uh, we use going to when we are not confirmed for our plans or actions and we use present continuous when our plans are confirmed they are playing cricket this weekend so we are confirm about that that uh, we know that uh, time is also decided place is also decided so uh, uh, what the situation behind this what's the scenario behind this it really matters so if you if you know that uh, uh, that the time that the place and everything has been decided so you can use in the sense of present continuous that now your actions now your plans are confirmed i am attending this meeting uh, i am attending meeting this evening means today in evening uh, there is uh, a meeting and i am attending meeting so i know i i know the time i know the place as well and i know about my uh, about my routine as well that yes i am going to uh, attend this meeting so i will say sentence like this i am attending meeting this evening one thing i want to tell here that many of uh, students make sentences like that i am attending meeting uh, today evening so today evening is an error it's a grammatical error because if you are talking about uh, uh, present day so you will use this evening this morning uh, uh, tonight like this not uh, today night uh, today morning today evening uh, these are the grammatical mistakes Ahmed is not making his project so we are confirm about that that uh, Ahmed is not making so we are using a present continuous then yes uh, uh, exercise and this exercise is really interesting uh, fill, in the, fill in the blanks with a present continuous transform of the verbs in the brackets so here you can see here are 15 sentences and you have given the verb in the bracket and you have to use with smr so the example is giving here that she is sweep the floor in the bracket you have given the sweep so you have to uh, uh, recognize that either you will uh, use is or am or are so uh, she is sweeping the floor so here the sentence like that first of all sentence i am going to discuss here and the baby dash cry because she is hungry so uh, i am uh, noticing here that this sentence has a sense that uh, something is happening right now so it means it's a present continuous of course verb is giving here so the baby baby is um the baby is a singular uh, subject so with singular subject we use always is so the baby is crying so we all know that with ismr we use ing form with verb so the baby is crying because she is hungry so i hope that you have understood this 
so uh, complete this exercise and uh, listen the lecture as many times as you can because uh, concepts will give you a uh, good grip thank you so much for listening this lecture and i hope you have learned something very great and uh, i am hoping uh, from you all the great efforts so if you feel any uh, confusion anything uh, is teasing you in this lecture so don't uh, hesitate to ask feel free to ask thank you so much